Othello, the general of the Venetian army, goes to Cyprus to defend the island from the Turks. Desdemona, his wife, who he just married, goes with him. Iago, trusted by Othello, hates Othello because of Cassio. A friend of Othello took his spot in the Venetian army as Othello's attendant. Iago's plan for revenge is to destroy Othello by targeting his wife, Desdemona, thinking that her and Cassio love each other. In return, Othello will become jealous and act out in rage. Othello will need proof of, the, of his doubt against Desdemona. What thou shalt say, Iago? Did Michael Cassio, when you wooed my lady, know of your love? He did, from first to last. Why dost thou ask? I did not think he had been acquainted with her. Why dost you think? Think, my lord. Thou dost conspire against thy friend, Iago, if thou but thinks him wrong and makes his ear a stranger to thy thoughts. I do beseech you, though I perchance am vicious in my guests. As I confess, it is my nature's plague to spy into abuses and off my jealousy. Shape faults that are not, that are your wisdom yet, from one that so imperfectly concites, would take no notice, nor build yourself a trouble out of this scattering and unsure observance. If we're not for your quiet nor your good, nor for my manhood, honesty, or wisdom, to let you know my thoughts. By heaven, I'll know thy thoughts. O oh, beware, my lord, of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock. The meat it feeds on, the cockold lives in bliss, who certain of his fate loves not his wronger. But oh, what damn minutes tell he o'er, who doubts yet doubts, suspects yet strongly loves. Where virtue is, there are more virtues, nor from mine or weak merits will I draw the smallest fear or doubt of revolt, for she has eyes and chose me. No, Iago, I will see before I doubt, when doubt prove, and on proof there is no more but this, away at once with love or jealousy. Going, my lord, I take my leave. Tis destiny unshunnable like death. Even then this forked plague is fated to us. When we do quicken, Desdemona comes. If she be false, oh, then heaven mocks itself. I'll not believe it. Oh, my dear Othello! Your dinner and generous in slanders. May you invite to not attend your precious. I am to blame. Why do you speak so faintly? Are you not well? I have a pain on my forehead here. Faith, that's what's watching. Till away again. Let me bind it hard. Within this hour, it will be well. Your napkin is too little. Let it alone. Come, I'll go with you. I'm very sorry you're not well. Achoo. I'm glad I found this napkin. This was her first remembrance from the moor. My wayward husband hath a hundred times wooed me to steal it, but she so loves the token. For he conjured her, she should ever keep it. But she reserves it evermore about her to kiss and to talk. I'll have the work taken out and give it to Iago. What he will do with it, heavens know, not I. I have nothing but to please his fantasy. Iago will use a handkerchief found by Amelia, Desdemona's lady attendant, and Iago's wife to set up Cassio, so it appears that Desdemona will, was with him. Iago places the handkerchief in Cassio's bedroom instead of giving the handkerchief to Desdemona. Cassio gives it to Bianca, the town hooker, and then Desdemona. Oh, save you, friend Cassio. I'll make you from home. How is it with you, my most fair Bianca? I pay sweet love. I was coming to your house. And I was going to your lodging, Cassio. What keep a week away? Seven days and nights, eight scores, eight hours, and lovers' absent hours, more tedious than the dial eight scores times. A weary reckoning. Pardon me, Bianca. I have this while with leaden thoughts be pressed, but I shall, in more continuous time, strike off this score of absence, sweet Bianca. <sighs> Take me this work out. Oh, Cassio, where have can this? This is some token from a newer friend. To the felt absence now I feel a cause. Isn't come tis? Well, well. Go to, woman. You are jealous now that this is from some mistress, some remembrance. No, in good troth, Rianca. Why? Whose is it? I know not. Sweet, I found it in my chamber. I like the work well. Here to be 
demanded as like enough it will. I'd have it copied, take it, and do it, do, and leave me for this. I do attend here on the general, and think it no attention, nor my wish to have him see me woman. Oh, but that you do not love me? I pray you, bring me some on my way a little, and say if I shall see you soon at night. For I attend here, but I'll see you soon. Ah, oh, tis very good. I must be circumstanced. Iago's yeah, plan is at its climax. After talking with Othello, Iago plans to take down Cassio, while Othello targets Desdemona. There has been a planned attack on Cassio by Roderigo, Iago's partner in crime. Cassio kills Roderigo, but is slain in the leg, but lives. Amelia, Bianca, and Iago rush to the scene. Iago blames the fight on Bianca for being a whore and contributing to the plot against Cassio. Iago tells his wife, Amelia, to go alarm Othello. Bless. What's the matter? What's the matter, husband? Cassio hath here been set on in the dark by Rodrigo and fellows that are escaped. He's almost slain and Rodrigo dead. Alas, good gentlemen. Alas, good Cassio. This is the fruit of Hori. Print thee, Emilia. Go now of Cassio, where he supped tonight. What do you shake at that? He supped in my house, but I therefore shake not. Oh, did he so? I charge you, go with me. Fie, fie upon thee, strumpet. I am no strumpet, but of life as honest as you that thus abuse me. As I, foe, fie upon thee. Kind gentlemen, let's go see poor Cassio dress. Come, mistress, you must tell another's tale. Amelia, run you to the catatale, and tell my lord and lady what hath happened. Will you go on? I pray. This is a night that either makes me or fordoes me. Othello confronts Desdemona about the missing handkerchief. Desdemona has no idea where it is at. Othello is positive now that she is sleeping with Cassio. Othello's actions are uncontrollable. Amelia arrives, arrives with the status of Cassio, but is dealt with greater news at the scene. Little did they know they would crack the code of Iago's plan. Banish me, my lord, but kill me not! Down, strumpet! But while I say one prayer! It is too late. Oh my good lord, yonder is foul, murder is done. What now? Oh, the more angel she, and you the blacker devil. She turned to fully, and she was a whore. Thou dost belie her, and thou art a devil. Cassio did top her, as thy husband else, O oh, I were damned beneath all depth and hell, but that I did proceed upon just grounds to this extremity, thy husband knew it all. My husband? O oh, mistress, villainy hath made mocks with love. My husband say that she was false. Tis pitiful, but yet Iago knows, that she was with Cassio, hate the act of shame, a thousand times committed, Cassio confessed it, and she did gratify his amorous works, with that recognizable and pledge of love which I just gave her, I saw it in his hand, it was a handkerchief, an antique token my father gave my mother. She give it Cassio, no less, I found it, and give it my husband. But in this home- yeah. After realizing that Desdemona was speaking the truth, Othello breaks down. He reflects back on all that has come, and how Iago, Othello's most trusted man, betrayed him, causing such destruction it was too much for Othello to handle. Deeds for late, speak of me as I am, nothing accentuate, where a malignant and a turbant and Turk beat a Venetian and introduced the state I took by the throw of the circumcised dog, and smoke him thus. I kissed there ere I killed thee, no way but this, killing myself to die upon a kiss. In the end, Iago's plan for revenge claims four victims, Rodrigo, Desdemona, Amelia, and Othello. Iago is chased down and captured. Cassio becomes the presiding general of the Venetian army after Othello's death. The fate of Iago all rests in Cassio's hand. Sad to say, though, that jealousy is the root of all evil.
<laughs> You're not getting anything. 